Hello, my name is James Parker, and today we're going to learn how to use Team Center reports in conjunction with Active Workspace. First, we're going to use our credentials to log into Team Center Active Workspace. Once the page appears, you're going to click on the Reports icon to get a list of AWC snapshots. Once the AWC snapshots appear, we're going to want to run the CN throughput quality in order to find out a particular CN. So we click on the icon on the right to generate the report. Once the report is generated, we're going to drill down through the chart to find a particular CN that has been open for some time. So we're going to drill into the week of June of 2016 and the week of the 25th to find the particular CN, seat post minimum too high, and view it in Active Workspace. So you're going to click on the Active Workspace icon to bring up that CN in Team Center Active Workspace. Once the CN opens, we now want to generate a new report. So you go to the right, click on the Generate Report icon, and then we're going to go to the Impact Analysis to see what parts this CN impacts. As you can see, by doing this, we use the particular CN as a filter, and it brings up the impact analysis for that change notice. So now you can see all of the impacted items, problem items, and solution items that this CN has. We're going to look at the 022100-1 revision C part and see what that looks like in Team Center. So we're going to click on the active workspace icon. And that will bring up all the properties for this part in Teams Interactive Workspace. We're now going to generate a report to see where this part is used. So we're going to go down, click on the Where Used Report, and hit Run to generate the report. This Where Used Report will tell us everywhere on any assembly where this part is used. So as you can see, after drilling down on the chart, this part is used three times on the carbon seat post assembly, two times on the seat assembly, and one time on the racing bike assembly. So we're going to choose the racing bike assembly by clicking on the Team Center Active Workspace icon. This will bring up the assembly part, and then we can bring up the indentured bond report to see all the parts in the racing bike assembly. Now that we've gotten the indentured bond report to open, we can drill down and open and collapse the part as much as we want to see any and all parts related to the assembly. The indenture bomb report will also show alternate parts and substitute parts for any part that is a part of this assembly. So as you can see, it's very easy to traverse and select and view various information using TCI reports using Teams Interactive Workplace. Thank you.